Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draculic and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can uh, animate this trampoline effect through using uh, traditional animation techniques without using any uh, physics uh, whatsoever, just through using traditional animation techniques. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with a new uh, file. So let's go ahead and add a mesh plane, scale it up quite a bit and I want to control A, apply the scale and tap into edit mode and W, subdivide my plane quite a few times now I want, having selected all the vertices I want to press control H and hook uh, all the vertices to a new object from this pop-up dialog here so a new empty has been created and now if I go to the modifiers panel and find the hook modifier here I can set a falloff for uh, for my hook modifier here so let's set the fall off to something like 8 alright so if I now moved my empty you can see that the rest of the uh, let me zoom out a little bit uh, I, you can see that the rest of the uh, plane is uh, deforming uh, according to the move of the empty so uh, that's uh, how we are going to be uh, simulating the trampoline okay so now let's go ahead and uh, add the object that is going to be moving up and down and it's going to you know to uh, deform the trampoline and this object let's say for our simple tutorial that is going to be a sphere so shift a add a mesh uv sphere tab into the mode for the sphere and select this vertex here this pole vertex the bottom pole vertex and I want to uh, shift S bring the cursor to the selected and tab out edit mode control shift alt C and set the origin to the 3D cursor so now the pivot point the origin of my sphere has been uh, moved uh, at the pole vertex down here now uh, press N to bring this side panel here and set the Z location from over here from the transport channel the Z location to zero so that you have effectively moved your sphere exactly uh, on top of the of the plane now I want to select my empty object and uh, I want to go to the constraints panel over here and add the new constraint and the constraint is going to be a copy location constraint I want to uncheck the X and Y uh, channels here and keep just the Z channel so and as an object here in the field I'm going to be uh, setting the sphere so now if I move the sphere you can see that the empty is following the move following along the move and uh, consequently and therefore the plane underneath is being deformed alright now I want for my sphere object I want to set two keyframes alright one for being on here on top and uh, another one and yet another one uh, being somewhere here so I'm going to be creating kind of an animation uh, for my uh, sphere and I want to first set the number of frames for my animation to be something like 100 perhaps so for my animation to last about 100 frames so I'm moving to my first first frame by pressing shift uh, left arrow and I want to select my sphere and go up here and set a uh, value for the Z location to uh, the value uh, of 8 let's say so now my sphere has been moved 8 units uh, up so I'm right clicking and clicking insert uh, key, a single keyframe so a new keyframe has been added for the sphere now by shift up arrow uh, let's go to the frame 20 alright and I want there for my sphere to have a location for the, uh, for the Z axis of minus 8 so let's set this to minus 8 as you can see my, my sphere has been moved somewhere down here alright and I want of course to uh, add a new keyframe here insert sync keyframe for this as well and now let's move let's say to the number 40 and again I want my sphere to move up so let's set now not 8 but something 7.8 somewhat lower than 8 for the Z location of my sphere and again add a insert a single keyframe so now if I play the animation you can see that uh, we have something like so alright of course somewhere here somewhere here we want for m my plane for my trampoline alright to start detaching from the sphere alright not following the move of the sphere so that's why I'm going to be 
selecting my empty here all right and i want for this empty to go to the constraint uh, here panel and set the influence here to be just zero all right so and insert the singularity frame now i move backwards one frame so left arrow one frame before i want to set this influence to be one so set this to one and insert the key frame and of course now you can see that if i play back the animation somewhere here the influence of the sphere just stops well okay but we expect that the plane keeps oscillating keeps vibrating even when the sphere has moved up here so let's go here to that uh, certain keyframe all right and i want for this keyframe to select my mt and as you can see it has a z location of something here of this value i want to enter here a new keyframe so right click insert city frame for the empty and let's move uh, let's say 10 um, 10 frames forward by pressing shift up arrow and there i want to set a new keyframe for my uh, empty so let's set this somewhere here all right something like so insert a new single keyframe something like so all right and uh, we want now to Uh, to move forward 10 frames for the empty and set again all right a new keyframe let me split first the uh, this window here uh, and let me bring up the graph editor so here it is the graph editor for and you can see here the keyframes for the z location of the empty all right so i want just to shift the duplicate select this one and shift the duplicate it Shift D, move it somewhere here, and Shift S, uh, uh, move it to the current keyframe. So now we have created some such kind of uh, you know of curve here. Now we are going to be using the uh, the procedural uh, graph editor modifiers for uh, making a cyclic movement. More precisely, I want to add a new modifier to this F curve. So press N, bring the side panel here, go where it writes Add Modifier, and add the Cycles Modifier. You can see now, if I play back the animation, that we have a constantly, uh, you know, a movement here of my, uh, of course, of my MT. Of course, perhaps we would like to set this, uh, you know, we would like to set, all right, yeah, we, wa we want to go here and let me uh, mute the modifier for for a moment and to show you something here all right i want to select uh, all the values all right and perhaps i want yeah i want to select those two values and i want to uh, bring them up so that they match the value it had before all right something like so so yeah i think yeah i think here you have it all right something like so so now let's me enable the modifier from this little icon here and you can see we have this oscillating motion for the uh, trample line all right this vibrating motion whatsoever so we want to of course to make this fading out all right so that's why we're going to be adding yet another modifier here which is going to be add modifier envelope and of course we want for the envelope to restrict the envelope to the uh, to the range of between uh, this keyframe here which is the last keyframe uh, where the sphere is leaving the plane uh, so we can restrict the movement to, to the envelope to the uh, 34 to 100 keyframes and perhaps uh, we want to do the same for the cycles as well modifier so restrict the frame from the uh, start to 34 and end to 100 so now we have restricted those two modifiers to this uh, uh, inside uh, this range there so now for the uh, for the envelope modifier we want to go first to the uh, 34 keyframe and i want to add a point here i want then to go to the last uh, keyframe of our, my, my animation and i want to add yet another point click on this add point here and perhaps i would like to go uh, somewhere in the middle in the, uh, somewhere in the number let's say 60 something and i want to yet uh, add another point there so now all right so now i can play as you can see 
with uh, the minimum and maximum values for all these points. So uh, you can see this reflected here in the uh, in the graphical representation. So if I uh, play, it, let's say, with let's go to the last point and I want to set the maximum and minimum values, to s uh, so it kind of fades out, and I want to move the reference value somewhat. All right, so I can create a nice fading out effect. So bring the m minimum somewhere to zero, set this to zero actually, and uh, also the maximum set this to zero as well. So as you can see now, we have a fading out movement for uh, our, you know, for our tremble line, all right? Of course, you can keep playing around with this, all right? Until you, you can find the, uh, the settings, all right? Uh, so you could play, let's say with the Let's stop the animation. You can play uh, with the middle point if you wanted to give it another effect, for example. All right. So set the minimum and maximum values, although that will be not so realistic. But again, you get the meaning. All right. You can have such kind. Uh, you can also delete the middle point if you don't need it. And you can just work with the, the other two points there. So let's play back the animation. Alright, so you have this uh, fading out effect for uh, the tremble line, all right, uh, which is rather nice. So that completes our tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something fr from this. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time with a hopefully interesting topic, hopefully soon. Until then, have fun and good boy.